barely two months after Chandrayaan-3 landed on the south pole of the moon, the National Remote Sensing Center of the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, has come out with a research paper that discusses the impact process of the lander touching down on the moon. Published this week, this paper, which was in the Indian Journal of Remote Sensing, discusses ejecta halo around the lunar surface when Vikram lander of Chandrayaan-3 made contact with the moon. Now, what is this halo and why was this halo of a reflective quality? I am Akanksha Mishra and I am going to tell you more about the findings of this paper. Let's begin with what is ejecta halo? Why was the ejecta halo around Chandrayaan-3's Vikram lander a reflective quality? And how did the ISRO scientists analyze it? Ejecta halo is essentially a layer of lunar dust or moon dust that is regularly observed when landers make contact with the moon's surface. It is similar to, say, the cloud of dust that would rise if you were to step really hard on the ground. Except this time when the Vikram lander made contact with the moon's surface, the halo that was observed was of a reflective quality, which means that it reflected light. The layer of moon dust, of which this ejecta halo is comprised of, is made up of something for which the scientific term is regolith or epiregolith. Epiregolith is essentially the layer of dust, small rocks and loose debris that sits atop of celestial bodies. Now these celestial bodies may be the moon, it may be asteroids and it may also be planets. There's two layers. The first is epiregolith, which is the topmost layer, and the layer just below that is known as the regolith. The first recorded instance of observed epiregolith or regolith, the moon dust, goes all the way back to the first moon landing in 1969. Buzz Aldrin, the second man to touch down on the moon, was recorded as saying that the Apollo 11's Eagle lander was picking up some dust when it touched down on the moon. ISRO, in the case of Chandrayaan-3, was able to detect the ejecta halo because of pictures that were taken before and after the landing. The pictures were taken by the orbiter of Chandrayaan-2 using the orbiter high-resolution camera. The important thing about this camera is that it takes pictures from two different angles, which allows scientists to use these images to then simulate, digitally simulate, a level of the lunar landing site. So, with pictures that were taken before and after the landing, scientists could reconstruct the lunar landing site after Vikram touched down on the moon and they could see a very clear reflective halo around the Vikram lander. If you look at the picture that is right in front of you, you'll be able to see that at the center is a bright spot which denotes the Vikram lander. Now, the lander itself is bright because there are reflective solar panels on its body. A little bit to the left of the lander, you see an oval-shaped dark spot. That is the shadow of the Vikram lander. However, if you observe closely and look a little bit around the lander, you'll be able to see that there's a very clear bright spot that surrounds the lander and that is separate from the brightness that is detected by the lander itself. This bright spot is the ejecta halo that was observed by scientists because of the pictures taken by the orbiter. ISRO scientists were able to estimate the characteristics that made up this ejecta halo. Based on their calculations, the halo was formed by lunar dust displaced by Vikram lander and according to them, the Vikram lander displaced around 2 ton or 2000 kgs of regolith. This is actually pretty much in line with the displacement of regolith by other landers such as Apollo 11 and Apollo 15. Those were much heavier landers and had much greater weight than the Vikram lander. And so they displaced around 5,000 or 6,000 kgs of regolith. Why was the ejecta halo around the Vikram lander of reflective quality? Well, this isn't the first time that a reflective quality has been observed in ejected material. It was also observed in the Apollo 15 lander, which was back in 1971. But as for the reason for this reflective quality, the scientists have put forth one theory. 
the lunar dust material around the area where the Vikram landed is extremely fine. So when the Vikram lander touched down on the moon, it scattered a lot of this regolith and it revealed a subsurface regolith that was beneath it. This subsurface regolith is estimated to be brighter and could be the cause of the reflective anomaly that was noticed in the ejecta halo. Apart from the subsurface regolith being brighter, the scattered material or the epiregolith, which is also very fine, could have contributed to scattering more light and therefore being more reflective. This isn't a scientific study which had a hypothesis and which had a conclusion. However, it is an initial analysis and it is based on imagery from the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter. As more imagery comes in and as more experimentation is carried out, we will see a lot more from ISRO in terms of research articles and papers analyzing what they find with Chandrayaan-3. And we will be bringing the latest from that to you. Thank you.